Hello, I'm Chris Tomlinson. I'm the Development and Stakeholder Manager for the Ramping 2 Offshore Wind Farm, working for RWE. Well, the website's always important for consultations with the wider community and with statutory bodies, but with Rampion 2, it's been even more important because we've been taking this project through various consultations during the pandemic. So whereas in the past we would have promoted the consultation as we have this time around, um, but we would have gone and held consultation events in the likes of village halls and community centres, this time we were unable to do that during the statutory public consultation. So the website became the uh, port of call um, for all our consultation materials. So that's all our maps, our plans, all the consultation information, feedback forms and so on. Uh, so it's absolutely critical that it worked well for anyone of all backgrounds uh, and all abilities to go and view uh, in order to respond to our consultation. So we sat down with Growth by Design uh, from the outset to talk through how we would put the uh, Rampy into project on, on a website. Um, but also with uh, the team there knowing we needed to communicate to a whole range of different people, that's um, professionals, statutory bodies, as well as uh, members of the public, local community, businesses, fishermen, and so on. Um, so it had to cut across, uh, you know, all ages and abilities and interests. Um, and it had to be user friendly and intuitive. We're not selling anything here, but we wanted to reach and connect to as many people from as many backgrounds as possible uh, to get their feedback. So it was designed in such a way um, to make it easy to navigate through. And I think that's been extremely successful. We know uh, the website for Rampian Tubes performed extremely well. Uh, a, because it was the only uh, medium by which people could uh, find our consultation materials and respond to the consultation during the pandemic. But also, in light of the fact that there was a pandemic um, and we couldn't meet uh, people face to face at events, we know that we've reached a greater number of people um, than we did with the original Rampion Offshore Wind Farm project a decade ago, when we were meeting people in village halls and community buildings and so on. So we know because of the numbers, we've actually reached a greater number of people this time around um, using the website as the uh, only key vehicle to communicate our consultation proposals. I think the website is a, a tremendous success and I, I say that because we have to uh, try and reach the widest possible audience across Sussex. So that's different age groups, different abilities, different backgrounds. It's critical for the project that we receive as much feedback as possible from across those different groups. And uh, therefore, it's critical that people can navigate and find the information that they're after and respond to the various consultations. And we know people have been doing that, we've received uh, positive feedback. Um, so, uh, and, and in my view personally, just navigating the website, it's intuitive, it's easy. It's, again, we're not selling anything. Um, so for our purposes, I think Growth by Design have gone out of their way to make it as user-friendly and intuitive as possible. And the su success is obvious um, because we're getting a lot of interest and a lot of feedback from the communities. I think the team at Growth by Design is the greatest asset. Um, we have now run oh about four or five different consultations, and uh, you know we're a large developer, but with a tight program uh, program uh, for a, a wind farm project in the development phase, and um, we have had some fairly short notice uh, last minute requests, and Growth by Design have gone out of their way, even at a senior level. Uh, to respond to those requests at short notice and to make sure we can continue to meet our programme and we're very grateful to them for that.
Working with Growth by Design from the outset has been a successful relationship because they've listened to our needs. You know, we're not selling products, we are consulting. And it's imperative that we're open and transparent with our consultation and we can reach a wide audience and elicit as, as, as much feedback as possible from uh, communities from across different age groups and, and interests and backgrounds and so on. Um, so they've listened to our, our needs, they've made it intuitive, they've made the website easy to navigate, uh, it, it's designed very well, you can find what you need, uh, and, um, uh, and the team as a whole, I think, uh, a, a tremendous asset responding to our, uh, our needs, often at uh, short notice, and we're very appreciative of that.